close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left. And I hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to show you how I make these really juicy cheddar meatballs. Um, normally I use mozzarella, but the cheddar came out so good. I have to show you guys this recipe. So I have one pound of ground meat already in my bowl. So I'm gonna start by chopping one white onion. Try to dice it as small as you can. I really suck at chopping onions, but the smaller the better for the meatballs. So now I'm just going to crack one egg and throw it into the bowl and then I'm going to add one tablespoon of minced garlic. I'm then going to add half a cup of grated parmesan cheese. I'm going to add a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of black pepper. Then I'm also going to add a little bit of Italian seasoning and some parsley, and a lot of parsley. <laughs> so now I'm just going to add just a little bit of salt into the bowl as well, and then about one cup of Italian breadcrumbs. So now I'm going to add a handful of cheddar cheese. Um, this is just shredded cheddar cheese. Um, normally I like mozzarella, but the shredded cheese was so good. You guys have to try it. Add one tablespoon of Worcester sauce. I honestly don't know how to say it, but you know what I'm talking about. And then I'm going to add about a quarter cup of milk to the mixture. Now for the fun part, I'm just going to go ahead and start mixing everything together with my hands. Feel free to throw on gloves if you're one of those that do. Um, I'm honestly just mixing it all with my hands just because it's easier to get it done. This stuff is totally optional. You really don't have to spray it, but I just spray my pan with a little bit of cooking spray just so it doesn't stick. Normally my meatballs don't stick, but I just like to be safe than sorry. So now I'm going to go ahead and just take a little bit of meat at a time, about a spoonful, and start rolling them into balls and placing them on my cookie sheet. So here are all my meatballs all rolled up and ready to go. I put them in the oven on 350 for about 20-ish minutes. I try not to overcook them for too long because then I do place them inside of the sauce and I let that simmer for a little bit and then it will kind of cook just a little bit more. 
I wish you guys can smell these. These smell so delicious. They are so juicy and literally like, oh my God, they're just amazing. So I just add them into jarred sauce. I'm not gonna lie and act like I made this sauce. Um, I just take any jar of pasta sauce and then I add a can of crushed tomatoes and I let that simmer for probably like another like 30-ish minutes um, and it's all set. So we just had it over penne, which is our favorite, and then a side of cheesy garlic toast, which is the hubby's favorite. He literally always requests garlic bread. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave a comment down below if you tried this recipe. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!